All right, guys, let's get some, some robot rating going on. It's a little bit late, sorry. It's like 11, so, you know, if you're watching this on the same day it released, hey, huge props to you guys for, for being so early, but let's get started. First one, 79298V, uh, Robot CAD. All right. Uh, it's it's pretty, pretty interesting what we got here. We got this uh, seemingly hooded kind of uh, snail kind of change up stuff in where it kind of goes around so once again very similar I do see these sensors though I think they're probably gonna have some sort of motion uh, motion algorithm motion profile, profile algorithm using these distance sensors I think I'm assuming that's pretty cool I like to see what people are cooking up with that uh, I see more more and more teams kind of uh, go to that and it looks like they're going going out two directions can come out down here through the through the middle for the the middle middle tube and up here for the high for the high goal right um and once again it looks like they're using flex wheels for the first stage and i think we saw one of those really fast intakes i will show you very soon uh where they use a flex wheel and a poly poly ramp poly wedge for the corners but yeah i like the, i like the plastic usage i think they're you know, doing a good job still utilizing pretty substantial pieces of poly while staying under that limit so that's that's very nice and um i just want to get an a tier hopefully my mic is loud enough this time here we go i'm getting even closer if you guys let me know if it's loud enough but this one uh yo luke rate the rate rate the barely had any pieces summer bought summer camp bought one day um not gonna lie i see this i see steel on already horrible battery horrible battery placement not cut shafts i don't even see bearing i don't even see bearing flats right bad and say can't score on medium or high goals this one's getting an f tier unfortunately uh i think you could have done much better in one day but you know nope still i i, I appreciate the the honesty and i appreciate the the effort right all right mid robot in three days i wouldn't say this is mid i think it's actually pretty good Right, I, I think the only thing I see on this is, I mean, I see this uh, very simple uh, change-up style kind of snail intake, and I see a hoarding basket. The only thing I see here that I think um, I don't, I don't see actually, is the ability to score on those on those high tubes. I see it only on the the medium one. So I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it an A tier. Right, I think that's pretty easy to add if you just kind of tune your hood around. So this will get an A tier. All right, should I move the intake more out? I'm doing wedge tech. Mm. I assume the wedge tech he's talking about is kind of like the same that the little wheel has, where you know it lets the the it sticks into the match load stations and it kind of automatically draws those those uh, blocks out, right? I think you should move forward. Yeah, I think a perfect spot would be here. Actually, would be on this on these on the screw here that you have mounted your your uh, kind of guiders on, right? Your your block guiders on. You would just move it up three three blocks, right? One, two, three holes, sorry. And then you just put it here. And I think that's actually should be pretty good. Yeah. Um sorry, I just made that excuse me, made that sound in my mouth. Uh I'm gonna give it a B tier. Yeah, I think it's pretty nice. Alright, build this robot in three days. About four hours a day. Can you give me some pointers? We are nowhere close to done, but recommend a war could you recommend some different some different storage videos? Okay, so kind of looking into storage here. This is another change up style. Uh, snail intake where it kind of just goes around again with a storage system on the back. I would suggest storing it like I think it's string theory four eight eight or four eight six s or four six six eight s. Uh, but yeah, they have a very cool design where it's a top a hood that goes both ways, right? So it can fold this way, like here, like so, right? Like the the, the shape I'm drawing with my mouse, right? And then you can score on the the goals and then there's a pivot right here which it pivots the other way and now it can it can score it can fill up your your basket right so i think that's a really nice design that's pretty simple actually right just requires a piston so i like that design other than that um i would i would uh i would you know what this is not like terrible like yeah you can you can use aluminum and steel these are relatively light out you know i'm not gonna it just doesn't look great but you know it it works I will put zip ties between these though. Rubber bands or zip ties between all of these. And then um, between between the sides, I just put like zip ties here between the sides. And you should be good. I'm going to give it a B tier, you know. Not bad, not bad. This is our scrapped robot. Here we go. Okay. Interesting. It moves very, very fast. I'm sure robots this season is going to be moving super fast. And 
Um, yeah, it looks uh, looks decent. I think I think it's a bit too tall. But I mean, it's scrapped. I think for good reason. Uh, PTO between intake and lift. We're gonna add a lift. Why do you need a lift this season? We're gonna add a big storage in the back lift up and down. But we said it wasn't good enough. Rebuild soon. Suggestions are welcome. This is a very complicated PTO using very small gears. Wow, I can't even imagine how this one works. Uh, what, does it just like slide up and down? That's that's very, very overcomplicated. I'm gonna give it a C tier. Oops, wrong one. 480 RPM on 3.25 inch Omni, kind of chunky, but not much I can do about it. Going to add one more cross brace in front later. Okay, okay. Uh, I mean, you don't need the front for the cross brace, but yeah, go for it. It's good. I think this two is enough. And I don't think it's chunky. I think it's compact. I think it's efficient. It's very, very efficient. This is this is super effective spacing here. 480 on 3.25 is a very fast ratio. And I think it's good. I think I think it's a good ratio. Especially with the, the, the wheel design right now. You're running the three-wheel design. If you run it on 450, you probably can't do that, right? So I think uh, on 480, I think this is actually a, a really smart choice. And you don't need to, to have all the, the, the wheels and the gears mesh so super, super close that 450 has. So this is actually really good. I actually really, really like this design. This is very nice. This is S-tier. S-tier design right here. Please rate drivetrain. I already rated very a lot of drivetrains. Um, uh, what we got here? All right, laggy video. You already know it's uh, gonna. Be, oh, that's no, just that's just me. What is this? All traction drive <laughs> with with a whole stack of rollers. Oh man. Oh man, this is <laughs> this is cursed. <laughs> this is cursed. <laughs> I'm gonna give this one. I'm gonna give this one a D tier. This one is. It's been a little bit cursed. There's so much aluminum as well. All right. Um, I'm skipping the high stakes II one. Rate this robot, please. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. And this is the video I was talking about earlier. The very clean and fast intake, right? I kind of wonder how you guys pop this this poly up. I'm pretty sure it looks to be passive. So that's pretty impressive how you're able to just pop that up. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's pistonized, but I really think it's passive. I think it's a. Uh, does it look passive to me? I mean, maybe it's because maybe okay. Maybe it's literally just because of this. I think it might just because of of how this is shaped, right? The shape of of this this field element here. It just slides on that, and you can perfectly grab all the the balls out. I totally think it could just because of that, right? Where it can just you know kind of slide in and just grab all the balls out. That's 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 amazing. I like that a lot. And scoring, of course, scoring also be super fast. Bam. Wow, S tier. I really am excited to see this robot. All right. IQ pushback bot. All right. Yep. That's a, that's an IQ bot for sure. Yep. Uh, it's going to get destroyed in, in VRC though. All right. Well, <laughs> cooked drawing, not to scale, but it's hoard with all levels of scoring. Okay. That's cool. Uh,. Yeah, I mean, I see the drawing. I see it's very standard drawing. I'm going to give it a B tier. I think a very standard is some cats we've seen already. Slightly scuffed six motor stack. Okay. Um, yeah, I think you should build a stack where it's more standard. Because I think this waste... I mean, especially with how you built this, I think it uses a lot more C channel than it should. But, I mean, it's not super heavy anyways. I'm going to give it a B tier. It's all right. Anyways, that's all we have for today. Thank you for watching. Hopefully my, my mic volume is better this time. Yeah.